As if completing a living room slash study and third bedroom wasn't enough, Daniel and Jade have another idea to attract the family market. This way, just waiting to get a uh, bit of more feedback on my roof storage idea. I'd love to put a storage area up in the roof straight off the second deck um, in the new, new part of the house, straight through to the old. Their proposed attic storage room will sit under the roof line of the old house and be accessed via the first floor of the new rear extension, making it the home with everything a family could want. But they're still waiting on Keith's go-ahead. Yeah, we put plans in to do this in week two, I think it was. All I can do, mate, is hand the engineer, and hand it to uh, Truecore and also the architect to approve it. But we have to wait and see whether or not we're allowed to do it. Obviously, we're upstairs, and once we're finished up there, then we're downstairs, so there won't be another chance to get back up there. If I don't do it this week, I don't do it at all. Daniel. Howdy, Keith, how are you going? Good, how are you? Good, thank you. What's going on? Uh, I've got some news about the attic. You can start it now. Rightio, thank you. And we want it revealed on Sunday. Right. I knew that I was up against it straight away, you know, like Tuesday I hadn't ordered any materials from Bayswater, Mitre 10. So I knew it was gonna be a pretty tough week from that point going forward, but I was pretty happy to get that news. This is the attic space that we're trying to create. So for me, where do you put your suitcases and all that sort of junk when you're building a house like this? You know, like a big family's got a lot of spare stuff. If we do get a family with three kids and any any sort of junk they want to tuck away and not be seen, you can stick it up there and not have to worry about it. We're gaining around 25 square metres up there. Um, small storage container for some people. Yeah, it's a big space up here. Big part of the house. 